Dumoulet. He's knocked off the puck, and it's Lawrence out to center ice. Lead pass. Here comes Dufour walking in. Dufour scores! William Dufour absolutely dances in and scores his 24th goal of the season. A beautiful burst of speed from William Dufour. That line has been absolute magic. Lawrence, who is simply having a field day, setting up William Dufour, springs him once more, and Dufour slides it through the five. May. His pass out to center ice, turned back by Kuznetsov. He feeds it through into the goal line, and they score. That's Anson following up as Robert was a little too casual. A real broken play. Uh, let's give credit for to Ravis Ansons as he came blasting in and just simply whacked at the loose puck. Kuznetsov broke the play up at center ice and the puck just sort of slid in and it looked like Francis got a stick on it, but the puck was not covered. And Raven Kidney back up the wall. It's intercepted and Dow is away. Coming in with Trenholm. Here comes Dao walking, scores! Philippe Dao. It's a shorthanded goal for the St. John Sea Dogs. The former Moncton Wildcat makes no mistake. That was a beautiful play. As Philippe Dao shows his soft hands, Trenholm. And Dao, it was a two-on-one, short-handed, and a nice, nifty deke by Dao. Shot, that hits a body in front, doesn't get through, and it's chopped out the center ice. Here comes the sprint, and that's Blagden coming in, and a shot. Nicholas Blagden with a burst of speed, and then he comes in, and someone takes a run on a Dog goal. Good pressure from the Oceanic to start. Sea Dog's able to get it to center ice, and here comes a two-on-one. It's Dao with Anson. Here comes Dao scores! Philippe Dao on the two on one, pulls it to his backhand and fires it past a very surprised Patrick Amala. And the Sea Dogs are rolling. That is Philippe Dao's second goal of the game, his third goal in two games with as a St. John Sea Dog. And St. John just keeps pouring it on. Four, nothing. That is a goal scorer's goal. Shot, that over top of the net. As Drover pressing. Brunet feeds it down low. A shot, they score! Luca Vero, an absolute laser into the top corner. And the Oceanic have a response on the power play. That's Varro's 12th goal of the season. I suspect Alex Drover may pick up an assist on that power play goal. As the shot by Drover went wide, but it was picked up up the boards. And Varro, high circle, fired it, and it was short side up and over the blocker of Couture. Face off at center ice, 3-1, see puck, and he skates it off over his blue line to center. He's stick checked, back the other way. Here come the Oceanic, high slot, shot, they score! Dumoulet. That went off a Sea Dog stick. It'll be an even strength goal, but the Oceanic have scored back to back as the Sea Dogs had gone up 4 nothing in this second period. And the Sea Dogs, suddenly their four goal lead has been cut to two. That will be William Dumoulin, his sixth goal of the season. Towards the Burns, feeds it through. Here comes McDonald with a burst of speed. Shot, scores! Cam McDonald! Squeaks it through the five hole. And the Sea Dogs have made it 5-2.
Cam McDonald. Good burst of speed, scores his sixth of the season. And that's a big one for St. John as the Oceanic were pressing. Kuznetsov up the boards to Burns and Burns springs McDonald wide. And McDonald fighting off the check, puts it under the pad. Lawrence will take the draw against Drover. Drover wins it back. Goche along the boards. Loses it, here comes Dufour. Dufour in over the line with a two on one. Dufour scores! William Dufour. That's his 25th of the season and second goal of the game. With 28.1 seconds left in the period. And while the Sea Dogs were feeling pressure with the Oceanic battling back in the hockey game, St. John with back-to-back -back goals have regained their four-goal lead. William Dufour. It down at the blue line, keeps it in. Drover fires it in behind the net to Godio. Now a shot saved by Couture as a jam play a hockey game. And the Sea Dogs begin the second half of the 21-22 season with back-to-back -back wins 